In this section, we are going to talk a little about the particle tracking option in the CFD Post software. So let's just uh, open a case with uh, a DPM or let's say discrete phase model uh, that we used in here in order to simulate the particles of the sand in a band pipe. Alright, so uh, just imagine that you've got a case like this and uh, you wanna do the post processing section in the CFT post software so uh, in this cases you just need to export the data files into uh, see that or let's say for the CFT post and in order to do that you're gonna uh, click on the find menu and then you can get to the export tab and as you can see here we've got particle history data as you click on that, you've got all the injection you've just uh, defined in the DPM panel. So just simply select that and uh, on the right side of this window, you can see that we've got all the exported uh, variables. As you click on exported particle variables, we've got all the uh, DPM uh, options you've got in the uh, ANSYS fluent. So simply you can select all of them or if you have a specific uh, target you can just simply select that and click on OK and uh, you can just uh, define the uh, path for it for example if you want to save anywhere you can just click on browse option and uh, define the file and after all you can simply click on right bottom and uh, there would be a XML file uh, in the uh, folder you have just selected so uh, now we can get back to the CFT post software just like always we need to import the uh, let's say uh, data files first I mean the see that file just like previous uh, sessions so uh, as I click on that I need to find the see uh, that file so just wait a minute for me yes there it is I can simply select that in order to uh, import right there you can see the walls let me just show them and after that you've got uh, you need to do one more step for the DPM uh, post processing and it is to click on find and get to the import and this time you need to select the import fluent particle track file and uh, as I click on that and this this uh, option you can see that the uh, file would be XML file and, and this is what we have saved in the ANSYS font so I get to that directly and uh, click on that and open it alright now you can see the tracks of the particles so let me just uh, increase the transparency of the wall so we can have a better view of uh, the particles alright and uh, you can see that uh, we've got another option here just by importing the particles we've got fluent PT for anthracite and anthracite is the material of the uh, particles that I have used in the ANSYS fluent simulation alright I just double click on that so you can see the injection name we've just got one injection so there would be just uh, injection 0 here and uh, after that we've got uh, reduction type uh, it just depends on what sh uh, what uh, are the particles and how many of them you want to use or track so for example by now it's just uh, on the 25 if I increase that and apply that you can see that the density of the particles would be higher and uh, it just depends on your computational cost and what uh, what is your target uh, so let me just uh, decrease that to 25 so I can have a faster uh, post processing here and after that we've got another field for limits option as you can see it has three different uh, options up to current time steps since last time step and user defined uh, it is all uh, related to the time of the uh, simulation I mean the time step but by now uh, I've just had uh, a steady state simulation so uh, there wouldn't be any difference in that but uh, if you wanna create an animation you need to use since last time step 
and in order to create the animation you can uh, just like before what we have discussed in the animation section you can click on that and uh, you can see that in the time and step selector you've got different times but now I just had a steady state simulation and there wouldn't be more than one uh, time step so uh, this is what it is and uh, just like other options we've got different options for the color in the color tab so you can see that um, most of the time we don't want to use a constant color uh, we want to color the uh, tracks or path lines or the particles by uh, different variables but uh, the most important problem there in here if is that as you click on variable you can see that you've got uh, options here related to the particle uh, which wasn't able in the previous sections uh, so for example let me uh, color them by uh, for example their velocities if I can find that uh, so I cannot find it now so let's just have another option um, just like the particle ID okay I click on anthracite particle ID and wanna uh, change the range to the local and as I click on apply you can see the particle tracks just like this and um, of course there are more options just like before these are the val uh, defaults of the CFT port software and we have discussed uh, them already so I get to the next step which is symbol in order to apply a symbol on the particle tracks uh, you need to just first uh, define the time again so uh, for now I have a, a steady state simulation so I prefer to use current time and uh, if I click on apply you can see the uh, symbols here um, these are the uh, spheres because uh, the symbol type is on wall right now but uh, if I just increase the interval uh, or let's say the mean time let's see what we've got it doesn't change uh, so no important uh, it's not uh, is our, our sense so uh, you can have uh, the other types of the symbols like arrows or cubes or whatever you need uh, so for example let me just check the fish 3d it would be fishes here and also the size of them this can be constant or uh, could be changed with particle diameter but in this simulation I have used uh, a constant uh, diameter for the particles so it doesn't really uh, differ and uh, these are the other options related to the symbol type the symbol size even and uh, for example by default one is very big for the particles you need to increase them or let's say decrease them uh, but um, these are uh, very useful for the animations and right now I don't have really uh, need them so the other uh, tabs are just the same so we simply skip them the render and transparency we have discussed them all the times uh, in the previous sections to benefit from Master CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, visit our website www.mrcft.com and contact us via info at mrcft.com.